Hi guys, good evening. We're on week 15 in the Bible and 52 weeks for women. Hey guys, how you doing today? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm coming to you from Deborah's Delicious Dishes. Guys, we are continuing our session on the Bible and 52 weeks for women. And guess what week we're on? We're on week 15. Can you believe it? Week 15, first giving honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised because without God, there could be no me, no you, no us. Hi everyone, let's start on this session. And you know that this book was written by a female author, Kimberly B. Moore. Okay, week 15, trust his track record. Our daily reading is for six days because the seventh day we rest or you get caught up on the a certain chapters in the Bible from this daily readings that you didn't get to do. So, daily readings, day one is Judges 11 to 14, day two, Judges 15 to 17, day three, 18 to 21, day four is Psalms 26 to 29, day five is Psalms 30 to 33, day six is Psalm 34 to 37, and like I just told you guys a few minutes ago, Day seven is you just get caught up on anything that you may have missed going through this session with you, right? Okay, let's start this. It's very short. In Psalms 30, we find David reminiscing, thanking God for his serenity and reflecting on the Lord's goodness towards him. He remembers a time when he didn't always do the right thing, but God was merciful. When he began to really prosper, David got a little full of himself and started doing things his own way. Don't I remember and know about that? When he began to operate in error, he felt that God had written his face from him, had hidden his face from him. But that didn't last long. David says in verse 5, For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. New King, King, New King James, James Burke, first. New King James Version. Sorry about that guy. You see, even though he did wrong, David remembered God's grace towards him. Let me encourage you to take a moment and reflect on God's grace and mercy to you. When we think of how kind and gracious God has been to us in spite of ourselves, it should give us a true heart of gratitude. All it takes is a memory of a moment of grace. Then you can get excited about what he's do, going to do. Because whatever God has done before, he is God enough to do again. When you're in the midst of your struggle, it's hard to fathom how things will turn out. But if you've been restored before, you can be again. If he favored you with a great job opportunity before, he can do so again. There is no limit when it comes to God. He didn't promise to bless you one time, and that was it. He didn't promise to heal you only once, and that would be the end of your healing. He didn't promise to open only one door for you, and that's the end of the story. Jesus died so that we all be saved, and that should give us assurance that he, he's not finished yet. Because there are souls yet to be saved. We have seen how he has covered us through massive storms, kept us through terrible car wrecks. I'm living witness of that. And spared the lives of family members. Yes, I believe he can be trusted to do those things again and so much more. There is no limit to what our God can do. Remember that there is no limit to what he can do. If we can just hold on to what God has already done we will immediately begin to get excited about the possibilities of our future. Just as David stated, his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. I don't know about anyone else, but I am thankful that even though I make mistakes, God looks beyond them and extends his favor. That's a blessing, folks. That gives me hope for my future and the blessings that are sure to come. So I acknowledge you to trust God's track record. Trust that whatever blessings of the Lord you want to remove, receive can be brought to your life again. Trust his track record. And that is the end, but I have to give you the points to ponder. Can you remember a time when God was gracious, although you felt you 
didn't deserve his kindness. I know I can. How has God compassion towards you taught you to be compassion towards others? Sometimes trust can be a hard thing. What hard thing in your life will you trust God to do? Actions for the week. Take some time to remember and list how God has blessed you. Starting next week, take some time each day to give thanks for your blessing. Thank you guys for joining me in the Bible in 52 Weeks for Women. We're on week 15. We are getting up here. And I'm trying to stay steadfast and diligent with this course that we're on reading this uh, portion of the Bible, a breakdown in layman's term of the Bible for women or whoever decides to read it. Thank you guys for the ones that follow through with me and go through this session with me and we learn about the Bible because you know what? It's here for the tape and I'm jumping on a great train. Yes, I just want to tell you this. Thank you, Father God, for those words. I'm sitting on the floor in my room by my bed because my back has been hurting me at work today. So I'm just sitting and leaning my back against the hard rail. Um, this is what works for me. But um, I just want to thank you guys for joining me for this session today. I hope you got some um, something out of it. I really hope you got something out of it. Because you know what? We all need that helping hand. We all need to be assured that what we're going through in this journey that we call life, that we're treading down on, you know, going down that road of life, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to believe it now. I go through things in life sometimes and I feel like, wow, why am I going through this? Here he is, like Groundhog Day. If any of you know that movie, is like the same thing being played over and over and over again. But you can hit that pause button, rewind, start again, and make life, by the grace of God, what you want him to allow your life to be. That means a fellowship with God, a walk with God. I didn't say one time we weren't going to make mistakes because I make them all day. Well, I'm sorry. Not all day, but I make it throughout the day. And um, sometimes it gets me a little down that I let myself get to that or I wasn't, um, I feel like, full enough in the Lord to depreciate, okay, I'm going through this and it's not, it's only temporary. It's not going to be forever. And to just stop it and woo side rewind it and go on with my day. Sometimes you got to ask the Holy Spirit to convict you and talk to you and chastise you. So you can learn from that little stumbling block that you have. But guess what? You can dust your knees and your feet off, get up and try it again. Thank you guys for joining your girl. God bless you. May heaven smile down upon you. Your girl Debs is out. God bless. And remember, if nobody else told you today that they love you, Miss Debs love you with a hurt back and all. <laughs>